Hello, my name is Michelle, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm just going to have a quick chat about periods and menstrual cycles and how they may be affected by the lockdown. So I've had many people ask me questions on my other videos and friends and family saying that their periods and menstrual cycles have been a bit different over the last kind of couple of months. So with everything going on at the moment, we're in lockdown, there's a completely different lifestyle change going on there's no doubt that it's going to affect our health. And one way that our health is affected is we can tell through our menstrual cycles. So when our menstrual cycles and periods are changing, it just means that there may be something else going on. So there are a few reasons why our menstrual cycles may be a bit off. Um, so I'm just going to go through some reasons why and just address some reasons why your, your periods and menstrual cycles might be a bit different at the moment. So the number one reason may be stress and anxiety. So even if you don't feel like you're stressed or anxious, because there's so much going on at the moment, we're in lockdown, um, our lives are com basically almost completely changed. There's gonna be an element of stress and anxiety within us with everything going on, what's going on in the world, what's happening to our jobs, all these things go through our heads. It's gonna cause stress and anxiety within us. So when you have increased levels of stress and anxiety, it can affect the part of the brain which helps to regulate your hormones. So in turn, your hormones will be a little bit out of balance and can cause lighter periods, delayed periods, heavier periods. Um, it really varies on how people's periods and menstrual cycles change, but there will be some form of difference. So this may be a bit of a reason why. So stress and anxiety is a big one. So best way to do that is just try and relax as much as possible do whatever you can to help wind down. Um, and I've also got a video which can help with stress and anxiety, which I will link below. So you can try some reflexology on yourself if you want to. So reason number two, maybe increased exercise. So as we're shut up at home, lots of people are taking on more exercise, doing more running, cycling, jogging, all those sorts of things. So increased exercise can play havoc on our hormones, especially if we're doing a bit more high intensity exercise. So increased exercise may be a reason why your period may be slightly lighter or slightly delayed. So I wouldn't necessarily cut down the amount of exercise you're doing unless you're kind of going to the extreme. Um, it may just be your body's way of adapting. It's not quite used to the exercise you're doing and, and your hormones are just sorting themselves out. So I definitely wouldn't stop doing the exercise. I would just continue and just try not to worry too much about your periods, um, maybe being a little bit different. Thirdly, just a bit about nutrition. So in these current times, we may be reaching for more sugary snacks or snacking more or eating better, um, eating more food. You know, there's gonna be a bit of a change going on. So your body will react differently. So your body's going to be reacting differently with your nutrients going on, um, whether there's a lack of nutrients or more nutrients, and it's just gonna be balancing itself out. So this could be another factor why your periods and menstrual cycles are a little bit different. So just be wary, just kind of make sure you're eating healthy um, and kind of just keep it nice and balanced. If you are reaching for more snacks, it's completely okay. Um, but just kind of keep an eye on that because that may be another reason. If your periods and menstrual cycles are a little bit off and another way that you can change things just to get them back on track. So lastly, just a little bit about routine. So our routine now are probably much different to how they were before. We're not get, really getting out the house as much staying much more at home, maybe not moving quite so much more, having more sleep, less sleep, um, basically just a change in routine. It's just gonna cause your body just to maybe a bit, be a bit off for a few months. So um, that's again, completely okay. It's kind of out of our control, but just be wary that routine may as well be something that's causing um, things to maybe be a bit different. So what I'll do is I will link a few of my previous reflexology videos in the description below. Um, ones which can help with regular periods, ones that can help to bring your period on if it's late, um, and ones that can help with stress and anxiety. So take a look at those and work with those because that can really help. But obviously if you are really worried, if you, if you really feel like you need to go and see a doctor, obviously do that. But I just want to stress that if your periods are a little bit late or a little bit off, it may just be for natural causes like I've mentioned in this video. So just try not to stress too much about it and relax as much as you can. Obviously don't rule out things like pregnancy, um, if that's a possibility. 
or if you're a little bit older, things like menopause, um, just make sure you're also just looking at things like that. Um, you don't want to rule out things that you may potentially need to go and see a doctor for. But overall, um, just try not to stress too much about it. We're going through very weird times at the moment, times that none of us have really ever gone through before. So it's expected that our bodies may be reacting a little bit differently to our lifestyles. So that is all for this video today. If you have any questions at all, please let me know and I will get back to you. If you have any other videos that you'd like me to do, please let me know. And also if you could subscribe to my channel, that would be great. And I will see you in my next video. Thank you very much. Bye.